Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I am proud to announce that the American Society of Administrative Professionals has invited me to speak at one of their virtual conference. I usually speak in person at their conferences. So in November, we have an event coming up. I'm going to cover Excel, Teams, Word, and Outlook, new features from Microsoft 365 that have either just been released or haven't been released yet, and I'm showing a preview of what is coming to M365 users. Their website is asaporg.com, and it is free to join. When you get here, if you just come to events, APC is the Administrative Professionals Conference. I was in Orlando at Disney's Resort for this last one. Next year, 2023, will be at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. ASAP Virtual is the one that's coming up in November of this year. I'm going to show you a quick preview of a video in Excel that I'm showing. And then EA Ignite uh, headed to Savannah soon. So in Microsoft Excel, Microsoft is working with images. So they have a new image function that'll pull images into Excel and you can actually sort and filter and the images stay in the correct place. Great for HR people, product manager people, anyone that's dealing with images. Also in Excel, they have a feature where you can pull an image into Excel that has data in it, usually text and a lot of numbers, and Excel using artificial intelligence will take that image and convert it so you can actually work with it. Two cool features, so here's a quick preview. Feel free to subscribe. I appreciate your time. Excel has two new items coming out that deal with images or pictures. One is the image function, and the other one is image from data. Let's look at the image function first, then we'll look at image from data. We deal with pictures a lot, and you can always go into insert tab picture and put a picture in your Excel file, your Word document, whatever. The issue with putting in pictures in Excel is they're hard to manipulate. And if you start sorting and filtering, they do not get sorted and filtered correctly. So I'm going to do this twice. Example number one, I'm going to go pull up my website. My website is running and I'm gonna go to the blog page. So if you work in human resources, this could possibly be uh, pictures of employees or staff. If you work with products, it could be product images. It can be whatever images you need to throw into Excel. So this is just an example I'm gonna use. I'm gonna click on this blog post. Here's an image, I can right click on it. Copy image address. In case you're wondering what exactly does that do. In my browser, I opened up a new tab and I'm just going to paste that. And there is that image right there. Notice you don't see it, but it does have in it HTTPS. So back here, I like these blog posts or pictures of products or they're pictures of staff members. So if I scroll through here, I like I got all these. So I can come back to Excel. So I'm back in Excel now. The image function equals image tab. There are your arguments. I do want to point out all the arguments that are there, but only one is required and it's the source. I just did a copy and paste. I did put that in double quotes that is required. I am not going to use the other arguments, um, alternative text sizing. So I can make this image a certain size, 300 by 200, whatever you want to do. Uh, so if you use sizing, you can also use the height and the width. I'm not going to use them, but I will just sit here and hit the comma and run through them real quick. Do you want to fit to the cell? Or do you want to fill the cell? Original size, custom size, keep on going. Notice the other two didn't show up because I would need to use custom size. And then I would specify the height and the width, but I'm going to stick right here. There you go. I'm going to resize this. So I have a little bit of room. Perfect. So that was just one image. 
So now let's assume again, we've got products or staff members. Notice I have set up a table, click in here, table design. I've got teams, word, Excel. So this could be the location where someone works. This image could be their profile picture that you need for your directory. The date posted, this could be the start date. Um, could be the department they work in, whatever you want to. Here we go. Watch how cool this is. When I got a table equals image tab. My source is cell B2. When I press enter, in case you didn't know this about tables, tables have a feature and it'll fill in D2 and then it'll go all the way down. There we go. I'll zoom in just a little bit. So those would be profile pictures or pictures of products, whatever you need to be. Maybe it's location pictures. Maybe you have different locations throughout the U.S. or you're a global company. It could be pictures of offices. Great feature is the image function. By the way, just to prove this, so instead of going to insert picture from file or this device, and then the sorting and filtering getting all messed up and plus a lot of work resizing them. What I can do now, just to prove this, I'm gonna go to the data tab, turn on filters. I only wanna see in my example, Microsoft Word. So I hit the drop down. I know that that may be off the screen a tab, but prom I promise you I got just Word selected on my filter. And there I go, nothing but Word items right here. One more time, I'll pull that over, click it again. Let's go look at Teams. Perfect. And select all. One last one, I'm gonna sort by the date posted. So when I sort, they stay in the correct place. This is such a cool function that they've come out with. It is the image function. Now, the next item, this you probably know, and it is not new. I am going to go and pull a screenshot or an image that I have saved on my computer in. So it's insert picture of this device. I'm doing this just to prove that this works. Here's an image. I can move it around. I can resize it. No big deal. The issue is I actually need these numbers from this screenshot. I need them in the Excel file so I can analyze the numbers. So I'm just going to move this over here. I'm going to go to cell A1. It is not the insert tab. This is called um, data from picture, picture from file. I could have also had a picture on my clipboard, but I don't. That's why it's grayed out. But picture from file, same steps, except I'm on the data tab. Artificial intelligence over on the right-hand side, data from picture appears. It is analyzing that picture, pulling the data out of that picture. I would encourage you to review this, but just to save time. And by the way, I'll hit review. I will do that. Hit review. And it's saying, hey, what should be here? TTM, yep, accept that, accept. You, it's just asking you to check a few items, accept. I'm just going to hit insert data, though. There I go. All I'm missing when I pull this back over here, it looks like everything is correct. And what's nice is these are truly numbers. The only thing it left out was this TTM right there. I'm not sure why. Everything else is correct, and they really are numbers. So I could sit here and analyze them now. As an example, I want to know what percentage the operating income is from the total revenue, 42%. Autofill, pullover, I didn't have to type any of the data in, I use data from picture. Cool feature.